Five women now are accusing Governor Cuomo of New York of sexual harassment. Cuomo's first accuser, Lindsay Boylan, tweeted, Resign, you disgusting monster, as nearly 50 state lawmakers now say the governor should step down or be impeached. Cuomo says he's not going anywhere. But New York Congresswoman Nicole Maliotakis on Twitter called out all the times he wanted Republicans to resign for sexual harassment claims. New York Post columnist Miranda Devine is a Fox News contributor. That was not a short list. Miranda, good to see you. Uh, we're up to five now, and it seems like this is becoming more bipartisan. Is it? In terms of the push against Look, the governor? Her Harris, it, it really makes no difference whether it's one or two or four or five or a dozen. He's not going anywhere. He's told us he's going to brazen through in his style of politics, uh, just being impervious, having the height of a rhinoceros is an asset. He's seen other people, uh, mm. you know, the Virginia governor, Ralph Northam, brazen it through. He saw Joe Biden, who had a serious sexual harassment alley or al assault allegation, actually, against him, uh, and he prospered and went on with barely a blip to become president. So there's no precedent. And I think women ought to start realising that sexual harassment is merely a weapon of war in politics. It is used against people when it is convenient. And at the moment, uh, Andrew Cuomo served his purpose. He was the anti-Trump candidate last year. He was, uh, you know, held up by the media as the absolute model of pandemic leadership simply because it was a contrast to Donald Trump and would do maximum mm. damage to the president. And now he's of no longer any use and he's white, he's male. Uh, there are progressive uh, women of colour uh, like Letitia James who are ambitious and perhaps they want his job and there are Democrats who are fed up now. They've kept their mouths shut through the time wow. that he was useful, and now they're coming out. Uh, and it's an insult, however. And it is amazing so to me that made. we talk about this yeah. in terms of him, because there were potential victims with this, and we know that there were victims exactly. with his other scandal, the nursing home uh, disaster, the, the deaths that were potentially Precisely. covered up. I, I want to get to this, though, because back to the politics, President, Vice President Kamala Harris and Senator Elizabeth Warren are still silent, pretty much silent on Cuomo. But it wasn't too long ago that they felt this way about sexual harassment allegations against Justice Brett Kavanaugh. Remember this? She is putting herself out there, knowing that they're going to try and excoriate her. And she's doing it, I believe, because she knows that this is an important matter. It's a serious matter who serves on that court. And she has the courage to come forward. She has nothing to gain. Women have made credible allegations, and they have a right to be treated with respect. And respect means you investigate those allegations. Miranda. Well, the double standards and the hypocrisy, we should not be surprised. Um, but it just shows you that women are just as bad as men when it comes to weaponizing sexual harassment. When it's against their ideological and political opponents, they go in guns blazing. When it's one of their allies mm. who's being accused, they are quiet. So do not, I, I, all I'm saying to women is do not trust any politician who says they're on your side in this issue. Wow. Miranda Devine, thank you very much.